it becomes more work because you sort of, with the experience you have of the previous event, you sort of get a better idea about what needs to change in order for things to be better, you know. And there's always been a lot of hard work involved in it right from the very start, but I think once you get a little bit of a reputation or people have attended once or twice, you want every visit to be better than the last, you know, you don't want people going away saying, oh, it wasn't, wasn't quite what it was last year, or we could have done that a lot better, so, yeah, I mean, you, you've got to try and cover all bases, and it's, it's, it's really hard to actually do that. When Split first started, I feel like when Ethan first starts, you feel as if you're doing it on your own, and, you know, people haven't noticed, and you're working really hard and not really kind of getting, maybe it's the recognition that you, that you would hope for, not that you deserve, but that you'd hope for, um, but then over the last year, People have kind of started to notice what we're doing now. We're kind of established. A lot of festivals have gone out of business or haven't happened, and we, you know, we're in our fourth year. For sure, it won't sort of scratch everyone's itch, but you can't sort of uh, you, you, you can't you can't do it with that in mind, can you? You know, we have to be specific in what we're about and have a, a mentality and an idea about what we want to create with Split, and, and hope that people go along with it. You know, hope that people dip their toe in and get involved. And there will be those names to follow, you know, and I'm not saying that, that we've turned our back on the idea of having people like Mystery Jets and the drums and Beth Orton and stuff come, the charlatans, it, 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 there will be those type of names involved as well. It's just for this announcement we wanted to sort of give a bit of a thumbs up to the region. We haven't announced sort of 40% of the, of the bill really, you know, that's, to, that's still to come. But I think the, the great thing about Split last year, a lot of people were saying well, that there was people flying in from all over the place to come and to come and play the festival and for Sunderland that it shouldn't be but it's 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 unusual for that to happen you know and I think if we can build on that again this year and just concentrate on the lineup first and foremost then I think people will come. We want to like discover the next future heads if you will and you know Frankie played here on the like when no one had heard of them. It's the first time I saw them at the first split and <clears throat> and they've gradually got bigger every year. We want us we want that to see that happen with the Lake Poets and Natasha Hawes and like all the local acts that are playing, that's kind of what Split's about. But at the same time, we realise that to sell tickets in, in the thousands, we're going to have to have like a decent headline, as you know. We've got one very good headliner already. <laughs> yeah, we, we, haven't, we haven't announced who they are yet. <laughs>